Oh, all right, fella. First of all, you need to go right inside the After Effects. Once you're right inside, you need to click on New Composition. You can also go to the top left navigation of the After Effects and you can click on Composition and you can click on New Composition. And alternatively, you can use a shortcut which is Control plus N. Once you do so, you will have the composition settings. First of all, we have the composition name. Make sure to follow the naming conventions. I am gonna write the name as Flixity for this composition. Below, we have three different options. We have Basic, Advanced and the 3D Render we are gonna go through them one by one first of all we have the preset in the basic and we are gonna go with hd 1920 by 1080 29.97 frames per second we are not gonna go any higher because we are not gonna put some pressure on the cpu ram and gpu as a result it will increase the preview speed of our composition next we have the width and the height this should be 1920 by 1080 pixel and make sure log aspect ratio is marked as checked for the pixel aspect ratio it should be square pixels for the frame rate you can go with 29.97 but i recommend to go with at least 60 but you can make your work done with 29.97 that's fine if you feel you are making graphics very smooth you can go with 60 next you need to select this frames per second as non-drop frames so that you do not feel any lagging or chopping while you are watching the preview of your compositions next we have the resolution we are gonna go with the half for the start time code it should be zero and for the duration now this concept is very important we are gonna go with the 30 second duration that is by default and if you want to increase the duration up to one minute you can go with 60 here or it also depends upon your requirement as you can see we have the one minute here and uh, if you need to make the composition larger you can just duration according to your needs next we have the background color and i prefer it to be black and you can also pick the color from this eyedrop and once you're done now let us go inside the advanced settings in the advanced settings do not change anything else this is fine let us go right inside the 3d renderer now in the 3d renderer we have the render as the classic 3d you can have two options here cinema 4d and the classic 3d mostly uh, the classic 3d is very fast and it makes your preview very smooth so i'm gonna go with classic 3d the cinema 4d is another option in the after effects that you can use but it will make your after effects very slow so we are gonna go with classic 3d and next to it we have the options if i click on the options it is showing that how would you like to shadow the map resolution we are gonna go with the composition size that's fine and you need to click on ok and once you're done you can click on ok and it will create your composition in the after effects so right now we have the composition at the flexity named here and you can use your composition to create graphics in the after effects and if you want to change some settings again you need to go to the composition and you need to select this composition settings and you can also use a shortcut which is Control plus k and here you have the composition settings again and you can change any settings according to your needs and if you select this preview option here it means that you will have some preview in your screen let me change the background color right now you can see the preview of this composition settings right inside my preview screen if you click on ok and again ok now we have the composition with the white background so that's it i hope you like this video so these are all the basic settings that you must have in your composition in order to make after effects very faster and uh, so that you do not have any lags or the chopping in in your previews in your compositions so that's it i hope you like this video if you have any questions you can comment down below thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day